Well, what a wonderful thick and fog day to you, Ace with Flashlight. My name is Bricky, and welcome to the Dead by Daylight case file featuring the first licensed killer, Michael Myers, The Shape, or better known as The Stocky Boy. <laughs> If we're going to talk about lore for Michael, look no further than one of the most iconic horror movies of all time, Halloween. While it may be showing its age, it's a wonderful watch and should tell you all you need to know about The Shape. So The Shape's ability is called The Evil Within, and it has three separate parts. Starting off the game, Michael has Evil Within Level 1. This gives him a ridiculously small heartbeat to the point where it's almost non-existent, as well as lower movement speed to 103.5% and a smaller lunge distance as well. By activating your special ability, you will slow yourself down excessively and stalk. While staring at survivors using this ability, a little white outline will go ahead and surround them as well as blurring the outsides of your screen. The longer this white outline persists, the more you will get in your stock meter. Eventually, when you fill up this meter enough, you will reach Evil Within 2. This moderately reduces your terror radius, but gives the shape a normal lunge and movement speed back to 115%. You're basically a regular killer at this point, minus the smaller heartbeat, which is quite nice. Continuing to stalk can eventually lead you the Evil Within 3. This gives you a normal terror radius, normal movement speed, a slightly longer lunge, and slightly increased vaulting speed over windows. However, most importantly, it doubles the damage of standard attacks, putting survivors into the dying state automatically, unless they have borrowed time, putting them immediately into from healthy to the borrowed time section. This lasts for 60 seconds at default time, it can be increased via add-ons. However, once the shape is in Evil Within Level 2, he can never go back to Evil Within Level 1. Finally, survivors can only be stopped a certain amount. This is indicated by a white to red color on them. Eventually, you'll no longer be able to get any stock on any survivors if they are all in a dark red color. However, this takes a very long time. So how do you play the Stocky Boy? Well, the Stocky Boy has a lot of different kinds of play styles you can use. There's actually a lot of leeway in how you want to play Myers. Is the best way to counter him just pal looping him no matter what play style he has? Yes, yes it is. But it can still be very fun. The main way to play Myers is the holding evil within three way. What you do is you gather stock meter as fast as possible until you're just barely beneath evil within three. Then you go to a survivor and get really close, stock for a split second to activate and get the insta down stab. This is the general most useful way to play Myers. It makes chases significantly smaller and also you have no idea how close he is to level three until he's already on you and you hear that little Halloween music. The second way is to play him the long con Myers. Certain add-ons make it incredibly difficult to get evil within level three but when you do crazy things happen. Sometimes it never goes away, allowing you to insta-kill someone on the spot and everywhere else on the map at all times because it never goes away. There are some other add-ons as well, but we'll get to those later. Finally, Jump Scare Myers is the final style. Jump Scare Myers is running a special doctor perk called Monitor and Abuse, allowing for a smaller tear radius during chase, but a larger one out of the chase. Running this perk at level 3 will actually give Evil Within 1 Myers zero terror radius. He has no heartbeat, even if he's breathing down your neck. So what you do is when a survivor is working on a generator, you just simply walk up to them and you yank them off. No chasing, no looping, you have a survivor on your shoulder and can throw them on the hook immediately. You still gotta deal with a million pallets, but hey, semantics. For the shapes add-ons, anything that gives you faster stalking is awesome, and the tombstones are also very fun. So Memorial Flower, Judith's Journal, and J. Myers Memorial for stalking power, the tombstone piece and Judith's tombstone for pure murder, and Fragrant Tuft of Hair is absolutely fantastic too. There are a lot of very interesting things that Myers can use, a ton of very odd different kinds of add-ons they have, some of the most interesting add-ons of any of the killers, but most of them are very situational, or more specifically, tailored to a certain play style. So go ahead and give it a look for all the different kinds of add-ons, but these are the ones that you should go for regardless. They work for every kind. For teachable perks, we have Look and then Look Away, Rest in Peace Machine Gun Myers, and Let's Quip a Mori perks. Save the best for last, since its nerf is not so great anymore, so I would suggest not running it. Play with your food is okay sometimes, but most of the time, a little useless. Dying Light is probably the best, 
However, it's a double-edged sword. It makes you try and tunnel that one person extremely hard and spend all your time trying to kill them. This, of course, is terrible for them, but also bad for you, since specifically choosing one survivor is generally a bad idea. Sometimes, you gotta let them go, which is why people use a Mori to get this done faster. For Meyer's perk builds, Enduring is practically a must. With a combination of decisive strike stacking and the increased lunge range on Evil Within 3, you'll be taking a lot more chances. Doing so will minimize the risk. Past that, Monitoring Abuse is great for jump scare Myers, and Normal Myers too to minimize your opponent's time to get away. Monitoring Abuse is honestly just a very good perk on Myers. Whispers is always solid for tracking, and any of the best killer perks like Barbecue and Chili, Fragless Demise, Overcharge, or Hex Ruin are all pretty good. Or, you can run the Myers Meme build. This is the Fuck Your Palettes build. Enduring, Brutal Strength, Fire Up, and Unrelenting, just in case you miss those lunges. Fuck palettes. And with that, this has been the guide to the shape. Michael Myers and the Stocky Boy. A reminder to all my killer friends, this game is played how you want to play it. No made up rules, no made up honor code. Nobody tells you how to play. Be the master of your own game, and most importantly, have fun. My name is Mbricky, and stop looking at me through that window. Bye bye.